everyone and welcome back today we're going to be joining our existing bodice and skirt block to make a dress block you can use this same technique for a bodice block and a trouser block to make a jumpsuit so let's get into the video okay first we start with a clean line at the edge of our paper and you're going to need your skirt blocks and your bodice blocks okay so what I like to do, if I start with the front, I have my front pieces. I first like to check where it's going to fit in nicely to determine the waist. So I leave a little space on top, figure out where the waist will be. Mark that spot. I'm going to draw a line at 90 degrees. Now we're going to trace the front. Now while you're here, you should also note the width of your darts for the front and the back, and then you're going to write that down. I'm just checking the original width. So I have my width, we'll use that later. Now you're going to trace the front. Now this dart is very big. We're going to share some of this dart somewhere else. Maybe the armhole, the shoulder, the side, anywhere that is convenient. I'm going to do the shoulder because previously we've drafted a torso block and we put the dart on the side, so let's try and do one at the shoulder. Now at the shoulder, I can just try and find the halfway point. So I can go about here, or you go about here, or you just go square up from this line to here. It's okay, so I'm just going to go with about halfway of the shoulder line. So I'm just noting where my new dart is going to be. Next, we're going to place this, match it to the waist, match it to the center front, and now we're going to trace. We're tracing all the way here, neck hole and stopping at the shoulder. Mm -hmm. 
I stepped on your shoulder. And you're going to take a pin and put it right at the middle here. And now we can turn this around, as you can see. I'm going to take this dart leg, turn this around. Until you get to the start leg. So. And I stop. I'm going to continue tracing from the shoulder around and down to the waist. here we're going to we're going to use this to make a hole pull this back I can see my hole and I'm going to mark the hole so I mark the hole now before we draw in the dart legs let's address this the way start we're going to just take this and square straight down Okay, this is our new dart position. We're going to ignore these. They don't matter anymore. Now, if you remember, we noted down how wide our dart was. Mine was one inch. So I'm going to put the one inch across this line. So half an inch on this side and half an inch on this side. That's our new dart legs, and we're going to connect all these points. That's our new dart. I'm taking it all the way to the hip. You can adjust as easy, stop it halfway the way we did in the previous video. It doesn't matter. And then you can extend this line down to the hem. And now we're going to add our dart legs here. Well, we are pretty much done. The only thing to cross check is the side. So you're going to check the length of your side and make sure it's the same. And then you measure from the waist upwards. So if it's shorter or longer, you do your corrections. Press check. Mine is the same as correct. I don't need to change anything. So if it was shorter or longer, you would have corrected it to make sure it's the same and then redraw on your armhole. Once again for the back, I'm going to align. Okay, we already have a dart here. We're going to just go round and round and round. Now the thing with the back, the way it is now, we probably don't have to do anything. You can just trace the back as it is all the way here. And then we'll redraw a back dart. You really don't have to do anything else. Or we can create another dart in the armhole to take care of this place. So we're going to do that. So two ways. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to note a spot. 
maybe we'll stop at the across back line here so that's where we're going to trace to here okay so I'm going to trace around remember your darts trace around and stop at this point then I'm going to put my pen in my dart now in this case where my back dart is slightly smaller than the front dart all I'm going to do is just leave it but if it was wider like the front we'll do what we did in the front but since it's smaller I'm not going to do anything I'm simply going to leave it the way it was and continue my trace and stop up to here continue my trace now I just need to note down these two, two dark points so <laughs> slightly hard okay so I have my two dark points so because the back was smaller I didn't change it I simply traced now all I'm going to do is correct the edges first of all I'm going to check here that the side is the same going from the skirt waist not the bodice waist the skirt so the skirt waist upwards it actually comes out a little more so I have to elongate it so I'm going to redo my trace correct the armhole make that longer so it's a bit longer there draw in my shoulder darts we didn't do any changes there Okay, now we're going to draw in the waist start. We have our peak. We're going to square down like we did previously. And let's check the measurement. Okay, and then we're going to put in the original dart measurement. Remember, I noted it down, and then it's half an inch, so I'm going to put that on this. So we're ignoring those blue ones now. We're going to put the new dart measurement, half an inch on this side, half an inch on this side, and then connect. So that's the waist up, that's the back, and as always you can extend this down to the hem. So this is our back, and that is essentially it. So as the last thing, the side came up a little more, we're just going to reconnect to the original armhole. and it's done this is your cross back ok 
Okay, this is our front, this is our back. That's essentially your front and back joined together so you've made a dress bodice or a dress over to use and it's very easy. And thank you for watching, see you in the next video. Bye!